with the C. And this is not what you think it is. Vsauce, Kevin here. This is Mind World. Several of these creatures, referred to as blind snakes, were recently discovered in Brazil. Engineers found the meter-long creature after draining a hydroelectric dam spanning a river connected to the Amazon. Biologists say that despite looking like snakes, they actually aren't even reptiles and are more closely related to salamanders and frogs. Researchers at Carnegie Mellon created a snake robot. These modular snakes can navigate a variety of terrain from poles to networks of pipes, allowing it access to locations that people and machinery otherwise cannot use. Cat Tunnel Sofa If you want to interact with plants, there's Botanicus Interacticus. The sensing technology treats plants as an electrical circuit, so each different type of plant creates unique interactive properties. The idea is to stretch the limits of what we can interact with. Using police composite sketch software and descriptions from Bram Stoker's Dracula, this is what it says Count Dracula looks like. <laughs> now meet Stompy, the giant rideable walking robot. This open source 18 foot wide, 4,000 pound, six legged hydraulic robot is currently in development by Project Hexapod. And if they raise enough money, they hope to build an entire zoo of giant rideable robots. Identifying pastries in a second is this new point of sale system in Tokyo. It recognizes shapes and colors to identify baked goods, allowing cashiers unfamiliar with the products to still quickly ring up items. And they say the system could eventually be used to distinguish vegetables and medicine. I'm a moth and here I am. I'm a moth and now I'm a tree. Instantly deodorizing dirty diapers is this activated charcoal system. The material is called mesopore activated charcoal, which has larger pores than normal charcoal to absorb a variety of odors. And is currently developed for hospitals, but they're working on a home model. Finally, Future Forms of Life is a short film based on Theo Janssen's kinetic sculptures. I'm gonna leave you with fire breathing at 2,000 frames per second. And as always, thanks for watching.